What's going on guys, it's Valrico here with another hot, disgusting, beast, analytic gameplay. And this time we're playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Team Deathmatch on Breach. Let's do this. So I woke up today and I read that um, David Vonderhaar and uh, I guess the, the squad over there at uh, Treyarch are deciding to boost up the, or buff the kill streaks because they're really not that good. Because they really kind of like weakened them during the beta. Or, yeah, during the beta. After the beta came out and everybody was murky people with kill streaks, they decided to lower them. And um, that was a bad decision and they realized that, so now they're gonna boost the kill streaks back up. Um, some of the kill streaks are not like should not like okay, okay, let's start from the beginning. First of all, the fucking hater should not be blown down. It's a it's a it's a blackbird. Sir, sir, it's a it's a it's a it's a hater, it's a orbital VSAT, it's an outer space. Why can somebody pick up a rocket and just shoot it out of the sky? It doesn't make sense. If you had a Blackbird in 1960 fucking 8, then the hater at 2,000, 20,000 or whatever this fucking game is made in is should be not even in orbit. It should be on another fucking planet at this point. But, you know, it gets blown down. That's what, I never run the, the hater because of that. I'll, I'll, that's one of my favorite kill streaks. the Blackbird. Won't run it. Why? Because they'll get, it'll get blown up. So I'm not going to try to get 11 kills. I think it's actually 11 and a half kills to get a fucking uh, a hater in Team Deathmatch or whatever. So, fuck that, I'm not running it. I, I refuse to run the hater, and it's just a waste of time. I'll, and I don't even run air, like kill streaks that, that, that are like aerial st style kill streaks. Look at this, I ran past the shit because I had a little perk, a little cold blooded perk. I could just run past the little, uh, the, uh, little claymore or whatever you call it right there. But, um, you know, that's why I only use the Cerebus because the Cerebus is on the ground, and they uh, they can't shoot it up and just, just fucking spawn at their spawn and shoot up in the sky at it they have to run to wherever the Cerebus is at if it's in the middle of the map or wherever and then they have to blow it up they can't just look up in the sky with a grenade launcher or not a grenade launcher but a rocket launcher from their spawn after they've been fucking raped three times coming out of their spawn and now they want to pull out a rocket and destroy my kill streaks that I worked so hard to earn now she is weak so that's why I run the Cerebus and I hope they buff that up too shit that shit needs to be uh, strengthened listen you gotta understand bro Modern Warfare 2, everybody's favorite Call of Duty, and the most aggravating Call of Duty of all time too, with a bunch of dumb shit that happened in the game, but everybody's favorite Call of Duty. Why? Because all the kill streaks were oh fucking p from the beginning. They didn't even patch the game after the game came out because of the whole uh, you know uh, situation with the uh, the original Infinity War three or whatever, like fucking talking. I guess what happened was is they talked. We were talking to some of the uh, EA people while they were in a contract with Activision. And Activision got pissed off and said, we're going to fire all you fucks. And so now those three are were doing Respawn Entertainment, which is basically Titanfall. But nevertheless, back to what I was saying before, that's just a little bit of backstory. Um, after they got fired, there was no more updates. They literally updated the fucking... Anything that fucked the game up. Just dumb shit like... It never had any plan after that. It was just, you know, the game was just what it was from the beginning. The only thing they passed, I think one of the last things they actually passed was the fucking um, javelin glitch, which basically what you would do is just hold a Simtex, um, cock it, and, uh, and grab it with your hand, you know, fucking hold the button, then pull out your grenade, and then press triangle and pull out your, uh, your javelin, and then just run at somebody, and when they shoot you, it blows up. That was like the last thing that they actually patched. And then after that, they the game was just what it was. And that ended up being the best thing for that game. That they didn't patch any of the guns. They didn't try to fix any of the kill streaks. They just left it how it was. And you had to learn how to get it. either adapt or perish. You know what I'm saying? Evolution. It's either adapt or perish. Okay? So... At the end of the day, like, I'm just fucking destroying people right now. I'm fucking running around with this evil talent. Um, <laughs> I said this fucking thing needs to be buffed for Bubba. We're using this shit like a fucking. <laughs> I'm using it like a goddamn gunship. What the fuck? Anyways, uh, that's why that game was one of the, the classic games of all time because they didn't touch any of the kill streaks and the kill streaks were oh fucking p. I mean, oh p. Everything was strong on that shit. Everybody just camped for kill streaks. The Pavlo was godly. My favorite kill streak of all time, the Pavlo. It was an absolute god. It was fucking, it had a fucking machine guns on the sides and the bottom. And then I think it had rockets too. So it was just like a godly fucking 
uh, chopper, basically, is what it was. It was like at nine kills, I think it was. Beast! Abs dude, dude. <sighs> 359, bro, every fucking time. Or 379. 359 or 379. Uh, UAV, uh, Predator Missile, or Airstrike, Pavlo. Free for all over. Free for all over every time. Guaranteed. That's how that was. But, you know, back to these uh, Black Ops two, uh, 3 kill streaks, they're just not that good. They're weak as fuck. They're not strong. And they're going to buff them up. And I, they're, they're, they were talking about just only the high kill streaks, but I think they're going to buff up some of the lower ones. I think a Cerebus is kind of high. It's like 9 kills. I think that should be considered high as fuck. But they also need to uh, boost up them airstrikes in the, in the, in the, in the, whatever that shit is. The, the, the Rolling Thunder is garbage. They got to boost that up too. You call it across the map, get no kills i think it should be a stealth bomber where you don't see it on the radar that's how it would be good if it's gonna come in that slow they just need slight tweaks here and there but they you know black ops 3 is still a solid game it's a legendary game twitter.com slash valrico youtube.com slash valrico and i'm out of this bitch peace uh -huh.